What's up Titans? It's Curtis and today I want to show you our new KDP automation app and I want to show you how to adjust the settings properly and how to set up the spreadsheet and then run this thing. So as you can see it has a very similar user interface to Merch Titans Automation and you'll actually use the same login details for KDP Automation as you do for Merch Titans Automation. And we had to build the app separately because there's a fu some fundamental differences of how they work. So as you can see here on the home page, everything is very similar to what you're already used to. You have your max uploads, you have the XLSX file you can choose, you have the speed setting, which is slow, medium, or fast, which you determine how fast this thing will upload to KDP. You'll have your upload status, which will show your status inside here when you have this app running. And you have the export XLSX layout. And this is the Kindle Direct publishing layout for this application. So if you don't have that already, you'll want to export this and I'll open that up. And then up here in the menu, you have KDP, which is where you'll adjust all your KDP related settings. So let me explain how this works. So again, you have the start row. So let's say you wanted to start on row 10 of your Excel spreadsheet. You could do, you could adjust that right here. Uh, now this is a new feature, number of tabs to run in parallel. And this is a really, really cool feature. So let me explain, let's say, you had 100 notebooks you're looking to upload, your spreadsheet's all filled out with all the data. What you could do is say you wanted to have 10 tabs running at a time, so you can change this to 10, and our application will break your spreadsheet into arrays, and each array, if it was 100 notebooks, and you were going with the number of tabs to be 10, it'd break it down into 10 each, so each tab would upload 10 notebooks, so you'd have 10 going at a time. Uh, and that will make your uploads extremely fast, and that's how that works. Now you have your login details, your email and password for KDP. You can adjust the adult content to yes or no. The paper type, which is the three options KDP offers, black and white interior with cream paper, black and white interior with white paper, which is the most common, that's the one I always use, and then color interior with white paper. Now you have the width and height of your book right here, 6x9 inches is what I'm going with. You have bleed or no bleed. I'm going with bleed because my interior requires bleed. And then the cover finish, matte or glossy. So I'm going to go with matte here. And you could save or submit this. You can save it as draft or publish it to KDP. Um, usually I go with publish, but I've already uploaded these particular notebooks. So I'm going to go to save as draft just, for, just so I can use this as an example. Now let's come over to my spreadsheet. So here is the default layout. Let me open that up. So this is the default layout for KDP. You have your interior file here which is the inside file for your book. And you have the cover file, which is the um, cover of your book, which is your design. And then these are both file links. <clears throat> so you'll link to the actual files. And I'll show you a complete spreadsheet in a minute here. Now you'll have your title here, your subtitle. These are very important for SEO, for ranking in Amazon. You wanna definitely with the subtitle put in the necessary keywords. And the title has to be exactly what's on your notebook. <clears throat> and that's very important to know. They're extremely strict with that. So here you have your prefix. I never use that. First name, middle name, and last name for the author. For first, I usually will go with a generic name. For instance, Pineapple Publishing. So like right here would be Pineapple and Publishing over here if I was uploading some pineapple themed notebooks. Then you have your suffix, which I never fill out, and your description. You can actually put an HTML in here. So let's say it's paragraph slash paragraph and you had line breaks and all that. You can come in here and fill that out with all the detail, details of your notebook. Now keywords, you can have up to seven keywords and you separate them with a comma and I believe KDP is 60 characters max. So you wanna be aware of that. And then over here you can set your price for your notebooks. So that is the default layout for KDP. I already have a spreadsheet right here filled out. So let's go over it one more time. So column A is your interior files, as you can see here. This is my interior file, which is just 110 blank line pages. I'll pull it up. So you can see here, this is just a bunch of blank line pages. So that is the interior of my notebook. Now let's go to the cover file, and I'll show you one of these. Let me pull that up. So you can see this is my cover. So I have a bunch of different pineapple themed covers. I put this here so I can actually include pineapple notebook in the title. Um, and these are just different gradients I used as a masking layer to get these different effects for these notebooks. So I have a bunch of different notebooks I'm just experimenting with on a black background. And you can see the subtitle here. 
blue gradient, blank line, pineapple notebook slash journal gift, 6x9 inches, 110 blank pages. So that's my subtitle, which is the same for every one of these, except um, the different gradients as the color of the pineapple is. Now you see preface, prefix is blank. My first name is pineapple and last name is publishing. In the description here, you can see I'm using bold for the first little bit. You can use HTML inside here, which is cool. And then a line break here. But that's my description, very simple, very generic. And then keywords, you can again use seven. Um, so pineapple notebook, pineapple journal, pineapple gifts, pineapple book, blue gradient. That way if there's any combos of people searching for blue pineapple notebook, that'll hopefully appear in their search results. And pineapple school supplies, vintage pineapple notebook. So those for this type of notebook, because they're all just a pineapple themed notebook, all these keywords are the same. But if you look at it over here, I have my variables for the different colors. So they do change out. So blue gra green gradient here, blue purple gradient here, copper gradient here, etc. And then again, I have my price, which I have it, I have it $7.99. So that is how you set up your notebook. Again, the title has to be exactly what is shown on your cover file. Just so just be aware of that. And I always, always recommend you go through and upload five notebooks manually. Get the hang of things. Um, go through that process a few times. That way, when you come to set up your setting and your spreadsheet, it's a lot easier to understand. And another thing with KDP is it takes them about 24 hours to approve your notebook or tell you there's a problem with your notebook. So make sure you manually upload everything one time, one or two times to see if everything goes through smoothly in terms of there's not being any bleed issues on your cover and things like that. Now that we have this spreadsheet done, let's go ahead and run the application. So there is only, let me pull that up. You see there's only 34 notebooks in here. So I'm just gonna say, let's do, let's run four tabs at a time. So I'll run four individual tabs. It'll break that 34 into um, four different uploads. So everything in here is good, 6x9 inches, has bleed, matte, and let's run it. See, so it auto logs in for you. That way if it logs out, let's say you're uploading two or 300 notebooks and it logs out, it'll re-log in for you during the upload process. So now it's gonna start filling in the details for each of these notebooks. And see how it's opening up multiple tabs up here? It'll open up to four different tabs and it'll break that 34 and it'll divide it by four and it'll upload um, every single one of those notebooks. That's super efficient. So you can see here on this last tab, I told it to do four and there's four tabs running simultaneously at the same time. It's putting it on my keywords. And for right now on the category, we don't have that as an option, so we just do non-classifiable. But in due time, we'll make sure you can uh, select categories inside of the app. It'll auto assign your ISBN, ISBN. And right here it selects your size, which comes from the app. 6x9. You see it shows bleed and matte cover. And now it's uploading the interior. And once that interior is successfully uploaded, it'll go upload the cover. And again, that takes forever to upload those cover files usually can take five to ten minutes. That's what's great about having multiple tabs going at a time. So you can see here in the first tab it's uploading the cover now. Second tab's doing it. Third tab should be any minute here. There we go. And the fourth tab. Here we go. That interior is uploaded now so it's going to grab the cover file for it. So now we got to wait. So I'm going to pause this video and I will reopen it when these uh, covers are uploaded. All right. So as you can see here, this last notebook is finally submitting the cover and we'll let you just see how it goes from here. Everything looks good on the cover. It should submit it. 
and now it's on the publishing page where it should input the price and, and select uh, expanded it distribution. You see the first tab finished, so these next tabs are opening up. First three finished. Let's go back to this one so you can see. So now it's saving it, it adjusted it, it added the price, and now it's publishing the book. Well, for now it's saving it as draft as that's what we set in the settings. And once it submits that, you can see the next tab opens up and continues the upload process. So it'll go through the entire spreadsheet. It'll have four tabs at a time or 10 tabs at a time. You can set this to whatever you like. Um, however, I do recommend that you keep it lower. The lower it seems to work better, more efficiently. So 10-ish tabs is what I recommend, even if you have 100 or 200 to upload. 10 to 12 tabs is perfect. Now, with that being said, that's it for this video. I hope I didn't rush through it too much. I will be making more KDP videos to show you how to fully set up your spreadsheet and do all that. But for now, I just wanted to let you see the application working, how to set it up, how to adjust those settings, explain our new settings with the parallel uploading system. And that's it. I'm excited to release this to you guys. It should be ready on Monday. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach out to me, post a comment below this video. I'm here to help. Uh, I can get on TeamViewer, I can do anything like that to help you get everything set up. Again, you have two months free if you're a Merch Titans Automation member, so take advantage of that. Get some notebooks uploaded. Kindle Direct Publishing has been amazing. Uh, I'm earning good money there for the amount of time I've invested, and I'm about to step it up now that we got this application ready. So I'll see you guys in the group. Have a great day.